Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Imperator Rome campaign using the Invictus mod. So, after the last marathon of a CK3 campaign, I thought it would be prudent to return to some more familiar Imperator Rome territory. So, this shouldn't take as long, I hope, unless we get some horrible, horrible starts and we need to restart our campaign, but... We shall see. The idea is to play as Cappadocia, and we will go in for the achievement that you can get as those ones. So, oops, that's not what I intended to do. Cappadocia here. Uh, we will play on Iron Man and mix gender rules and just start and have a quick look. We can talk about. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Alright. Uh, this is the same as for all nation oh we have something here though regarding cappadocia so let's read through this and then we'll have a look at the nation though for many years cappadocia has been under persian control the region has been firmly in the hellenic hands following alexander the great's conquests under the rule of the satrap eumenes of cardia the province would fight for control and greater glory during the wars of the diadochi Eumenes deftly commanded many macedonian soldiers including the famed silver shields despite not being jesus christ this is a long text despite not being of their culture. It was through hard work, determination and intelligent command that he won their respect. This newfound power of Eumenes would be cut short, however. Eumenes definitely... No, I already read that one. Uh, at the Battle of Gavien, Eumenes had ultimately won the battle, but lost control of his army. He would be betrayed by the Silver Shields, whose families were held hostage by Antigonus. Antigonus. Is that uh, this Antigonus? Not you. Mm. Yes. In the end, Eumenes would be imprisoned by the Antigonid forces and died to starvation. His remains were sent back to his family, while the Macedonian family Aminthid, ever loyal to the Antigonid cause, would be instated as the new satraps of Cappadocia. Oh, the bastards! All right, so I think the the achievement is actually called in Eumenes' footsteps or something like that, so presumably we are going to avenge him. One might think that the situation would have calmed down, but one would be sorely mistaken. A minted rule is by no means secure. On the one hand, the son of the former Persian king, you lot here, uh, plans to retake his homeland and drive out the Hellenes from the region, and on the other, the children of Eumenes of Cardia plot and scheme to avenge their father. The eldest son Eumenes hopes to retake control over Cappadocia and defeat the Antigonids in battle, thus restoring his family's honor. Cappadocia stands upon the edge of a precipice. With what path will she tread? Not a troublesome time indeed. Alright, so yes, so the achievement we will be going for is... This one here. As Cappadocia, keep Macedonian as a primary culture. I presume you have some events to change primary culture because it's very tricky to change it. Become independent and conquer Alexandria and Babylon. So, basically just need to go grab this and grab this here. Not too, not too bad. Maybe we'll sort of stick to keeping Anatolia. Um, let's check the regions. Yeah, we can limit ourselves to here. And then go and conquer there so we can have some nice borders. And where is Alexandria exactly? It is here. Okay, so we don't need to go any further than that. Alright. We are Hellenic. Loyalty of governors, minus five. Not super nice, but that's okay. We are Macedonian as our primary culture. We have um, Cappadocian heritage, build cost, unintegrated culture group happiness decent enough and national tribes and output minus three percent which we do not care about at all very nice uh hang on do we have any macedonians in our... we have four of them nice okay we do have integrated cappadocian though huh hmm hmm might need to actually have to integrate something. All uh, right, what else is there? Um, how are we doing in actual religion here? Oh, good, it's all the wrong religion as well. Perfect. 
Home and power might plus point one point nine percent. Nice. Okay. I mean, religion we could technically swap, I guess. But we'll have to see. Right. First things first. And let's try and get this under control a bit. So we are an autocratic monarchy. We get one of each there, which will give us some extra slave output. So I think we're going to go with morale of armies. Um, we will go with. Build custom, build time, slave output. Let's go with slave output. And as far as religious IDs go, none of them are really. We'll just go with state religion. And we will embrace social equity. Is that sorted? First tab dealt with. Anything else we need to talk about here? No, no, no. That all looks fine. Government, we, well, let's check out the science department first, technology. So, you are seven skilled one. No, military. Right, so we do have this one here, who is vastly superior compared to you. Do we have one with any actual abilities? Just you, but I'm pretty sure you can serve better in some other role, so we'll plonk you there. As far as blue ones go, yeah, we have you here. You can go for that one. Um, we have some pissed off people. We'll sort that out later. So, I guess... Uh, we can get you at least, so we don't over... Well, hmm, I'll put you there. And, yeah, we can swap you in since you have, you all have nine anyway, so, put you there, alright, government, you are absolutely garbage, and you have three out of three at the moment, can we swap this around, you have two out of three, so ideally, well, you are just a random person, so we don't particularly care about you, let's shove this one here, that makes everyone theoretically happy now you are very too disloyal because you're a pretender but you're garbage though all right fine let's bribe you and then we're going to swap you into another position instead because it looks like you're bad um you are good at oh god i can't remember these stupid colors. Okay, you're good at this. So we can swap you in for... Yeah, for one of these ones. So, let's put you there. We can swap you in for this one. Oh, it wasn't this one. Alright, never mind. We can still swap you in here. Let's just check. You only got six. Can we put someone else in here who's not as incompetent? We have a lot of yellow ones. Uh, can we swap you in here? Yeah, you're actually slightly better there. So let's put you in there. Ten, ten, nine. Now we have four out of three here. So we can put in you who are actually vastly superior. And as far as you're concerned... Yeah, we can put you in there. Uh, you're not very loyal. Power base in country. Well, I mean, you can stay there for now. I guess that's fine. We'll deal with that later. We are unmarried. And we are 41 years old. So let's get the marriage sorted straight away. Preferably someone with well, anything but military, really. Uh, you're a bit too old. 19 year old here who will bump up two of the stats at least you're 22 years old let's grab the 19 year old splendid okay that's that taken care of we need innovation straight away as well so What do we want to go for first? 
I mean, in theory, we should go and get some freaking temples going. Actually, so let's just... Get that one going. It's always nice. Um, I believe... Just get legal patronage. How many more do we have? Oh, no more innovations. Oh my god. We're technologically inept, but the good news is we can at least build temples now. So that's one step. As far as omens go, I mean, these omens are not going to do much, if anything. <laughs> sure, let's go with Papa Simulation Speed. We have all the wrong deities as well. Oh my god, well we don't have the... We can replace one, I believe. So, let's start going by Unintegrated Culture Happiness Passive Effect. That actually sounds pretty good. What's this one here? Integrated Culture Happiness would be better later on, but at the moment we don't have anyone of, of our own culture, really. Uh, or Aggressive Expansion Change. No, that's Sibylline ones. We don't want those ones. Or do we want to actually just change religion? How much would that be? Uh, embrace the Sibylline fate. We need 200 political influence. Uh, maybe we should check our missions just to confirm. Right, we can sort out trade routes though. So, in terms of trade... We'll accept all trades, block surplus. Um, we have a few different provinces, okay. I presume that Cappadocia is our capital one. Yes, it is. So... You can all trade, I think. Well, we only seem to have trade routes in our capital. Let's have a quick look. As far as trade routes go at the moment, we are importing hemp. I'm sure, whether we need hemp specifically. Okay. Why are these ones green? Is that new? Oh, that's because I already have it. Okay, that's helpful. I must have added that in the last patch, or one of the later patches. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. Um, We can get in spices, or we can start working on precious metals. Actually, we only need one precious metal, so yeah, let's get that one going. And then we can start... I mean, stone is always nice. Um... We don't have anything that we can really offer the nobles except for marble, so I think we're fine there. I have no idea what our troops are like. So... I guess glass. Apparently we're almost starving to death now. What are we producing in terms of food? We do have grain. And vegetables. Let's just start working on some slaves there. Alright. Well, let's just go with some discipline for... Ah, uh, should have checked the freaking missions. Okay. Dealt with, dealt with. Not sure whether we want to integrate anyone else just yet. Military. We do have 22k troops, so not too terrible. Um... We'll probably want to increase wages, but we're very poor at the moment. Well, we'll still gain money, so that's okay. Technology done. Right, mission. <clears throat> okay, unique mission tree here. Cappadocian destiny. Cappadocia has lived through a turbulent couple of decades and has now multiple paths open for its future. From the Persian Arirara... Returning to a native takeover, who knows what lies in Cappadocia's future. 
Completion criteria. We will lead Cappadocia into the future after having chosen the path we want to go down, culminating in a vast realm spanning most of Anatolia in most cases. Indeed. Let's go for that. G. Oh my fucking god. What the. Are these mutually. Ex oh my god. Okay. Right. Stand with the Antigonid Kingdom. That doesn't sound right. Send a gift to our overlord. Okay. The Persian Remnant. Pushing back to Satra. We'll declare war on Pontus on our own. Conquer. Discipline. Okay. I'll declare a war on Armenia. Independent Hellenistic Kingdom. Okay. Overlord become a special type of vassal. Holy crap. Succeed with access to Hellenistic Empire Mission Tree to restore the legacy of Alexander. Okay. No, 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 no. Laying down. Okay. Greater Cappadocia. This is a minted kingdom, Greater Cappadocia. Okay. For the love of Eumenes' legacy. I mean, this is this feels like the one we should do. Greek heritage. Any culture in the country has... Change this culture to Propontic. Hang on. I don't think we, we, we can change culture. Keep Macedonian as your primary culture. Okay, so that part of the mission tree is a no-go. Okay, we can't go down the middle path here. Well, or are these ones mutually... No, these ones are not mutually exclusive. So we don't want to go... Macedonian remnants. Okay, here. Going native. Native tradition is central part. Macedonian remnants. The heirs of Eumenes, blah, blah, blah. Persian claimant. Oh my god, this is so fucking complicated. Bring the people. Let it storm. Securing independence. This one just seems to end here. Paul declared is independent and is leading a revolt against us. Bring the people. As of whatever. In all the political influence. Eh. This is some other dynasty. Um, Armenian partner form a new relationship with Armenia. Primary culture needs to have East restriction. Okay. It's not the subject nation. Okay. A Greek or Persian world. Cappadocia is a subject. The motion advances. Hellenistic deity. Jesus Christ, this is too complicated. Dominant religion is outliving the Armenians, Pontic Expedition, Pontic Holdings, 
tolerant realm to Persia. Thanks to you. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So. We'll switch. He will lead the rebellion against our current regime. Okay. This will then lead to these ones here, which does something with Armenia. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here. The primary cult needs to have East restriction on citizenship. Okay. Okay. Russian culture group integrated. Okay. I might need to have a look at this between the episodes. This is... Okay. I'm not seeing anything here that actually... Converts culture. Outliving the Armenians. Yes, okay. Gain a claim on Pontus. Okay. Get some free province investments. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. So we'll switch to play as... This guy. It was Persian and Zoroastrian, though. I'm not sure if that's going to change it our culture. I don't think it will, but... So that's fine. This one, I believe, does change us. Or doesn't. Make native traditions. Oh yeah, we will change our primary culture to Cappadocian and our religion to Sibylline. Okay, we do not want to do that one. Okay, so potentially this one on the right, but we are going to get a Persian whatever ruler. We'll switch to play as Eumenes. Uh, he will lead a rebellion against the current regime. Okay. He is Propontic and Hellenic. Okay. Change to Propontic. Okay, we don't want to do this. This changes cult primary culture to this one. This does not seem to change the culture. Which is weird. Oh, these two are mutually exclusive. Okay. That doesn't make any difference, though. It feels like this one might change the culture as well, but... This one is not mutually exclusive with anything, so you can get all of these three. If I understand it correctly. Game claims. Demand. Securing independence. Okay, and this one here was... This one is definitely changing. Unless these ones are... No, okay. Strength with the Antigonid. Okay. Rewards for loyalty. We'll send a gift to our overlord, which they will be sure to reciprocate. Uh, Persian remnant. Declare Pontus on our own. The richest satrap here.
Okay. So if I read this correctly, we can either go down this one here, or go for the dynasty here. Which I think... Okay. I am going to call this episode here, because I'm just staring at this tree forever and ever. It's too freaking complicated here. So, and yeah, I'll double check and hopefully <laughs> see it correctly. So yeah, sorry, this episode is probably not very interesting, but next one will hopefully actually unpause the game. In any case, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.